Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I mount my GoPros on my RC cars to make my RC car edits. I get a lot of comments on how I mount my GoPros to my trucks, and a lot of you guys like those camera angles, and obviously I'm glad to hear that. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how I mount my GoPro to get those awesome shots. I hope you guys find this video helpful, and hopefully you guys can try this at home to make your videos. So let's dig in and find out how to do it. Okay, so in front of me right now, I'm going to start with the last video that I uploaded, which is the uh, monster truck onboard video that I did. This is my Traxxas Stampede two-wheel drive. It is heavily upgraded, and one of the things that you guys really haven't seen unless you watched my live stream I did a couple videos back is that this truck now has a roll cage. I've had this roll cage for a long time in my shop, and I kind of just didn't use it after a while because some of the mounting points broke off. Uh, so it's really only held on by two mounting points in the middle which is enough for my purposes because I don't really bash it around too much now. But one of the great advantages of having the roll cage is that you have a lot more mounting points to put a GoPro. Basically what you're gonna need to mount a GoPro is this very compatible clip uh, that I've had for a long time with my GoPro. And basically all it is is just a little clip piece. This little piece right here that kind of makes this L shape, this actually up here was not included with this clip. This is from another attachment but it's very easy to put it in. And then this is my GoPro Hero 5. It's got uh, many different camera settings. For the last video that I made with the Monster Truck Onboard, I was recording at 1080 HD and 120 frames per second. This camera can actually go up to 240 frames per second, which is really slow, slow motion, but I really didn't want to do that because it also lowers the quality of the image. So how are we going to get that camera angle? Well that camera angle is achieved by having the GoPro mounted upside down and it's actually going to mount just like so on the roll cage. This next camera angle staying on this side of the truck was recorded in a similar way except that the GoPro clip was reversed. So we're gonna reverse it by going like so. So now it's on the other side, the GoPro can be mounted upright. The GoPro was mounted like this to get that upper shock point of view. Something else that I should mention is if you're trying to make the GoPro a little bit more stable, using two zip ties, one on either side to secure the GoPro to the roll cage helps a lot. And that's actually what I did for this video. Now on the other side, we get that lower uh, shock view with the motor in the background and that's basically the same setup that we had on the opposite side uh, so there's really not too much more explaining I have to do there it is just about the same setup now this is how I got that camera angle on the right side of the truck you can see here that that is what it looks like now the last camera angle featured in that video is on one of the front shocks and that one's actually pretty simple again attached to the roll cage right here the clip just slides on again you're going to want to use zip ties to secure it and then you get this camera angle right down on the front shocks those are the four camera angles that i used in my latest video now we're going to take the trx4 and look at the camera angles that i used in one of my last videos with that truck where i do some onboard footage with the gopro here is my Traxxas TRX4. It is actually pretty big on the shop table. To mount the GoPro on this truck, it was actually a lot more simple and did not require the roll cage that the Traxxas Stampede has. First on the inside, you can see that very easily I just put a sticky uh, GoPro mount on the battery hold down. This was very easy to, to put on. It's very strong and allowed me to get the camera angles from inside the front windshield and looking out the back windshield. To get the other two camera angles in the front and the rear, those ones were still quite simple. Starting with the angle from underneath the front of the truck, the bumper right on the front of the truck is the perfect size to accept this clip on the GoPro. So very easily I was able to mount the GoPro by sliding the clip up on there and then adjusting the GoPro angle from underneath. As you can see, that is the angle that we saw in that video you get a perfect view from right underneath the truck. Now, doing the rear is just as easy, taking the same clip mount and then just sliding it over the rear bumper. Now, this truck doesn't actually have the rear bumper. I just put it on the uh, cross member that's between the chassis here 
and this basically just slides on like that and then you adjust the GoPro once again underneath to get the angle you want. Something to remember though with this kind of angle is that the truck is not going to be able to clear quite as many obstacles. That's why I did not include that camera angle that often in that video. The camera was often getting caught on the obstacles on that course. Here's a look at that camera angle. You can see how we see right underneath the rear of the truck. So there you have it everyone. That is how I mount the GoPros on my RC vehicles. It's pretty easy. Of course, with this truck, I do have the roll cage that gives me many different mounting options, but I encourage you all at home to try and experiment with mounting your own GoPros on your RC cars and try to get some awesome camera angles. I enjoy reading all the positive comments that I get on my videos, so thank you all very much for those. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on the RC Genius.